and and to to go to our our project it's, it's been very interesting uh so far and then now we are going to uh, have a little bit of a change in our schedule we're gonna to go to room six which is the development and operation of a river waste collector automation and prototyping design and then we come back to room five so uh daniel victor are you there yes i am here you, can you give the, the permission to to luis you have the power Daniel. Wish. No, the power to to Luis. For me. Oh, the, the power to what? For to me. Luis, For Luis and Arthur. For me. Oh, Luis, where is Luis? Let's see, Luis, 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 Luis. Luis and Arthur. Okay, okay, I can see you now. Because it's a lot of... Let's see, Luis. Perfect, Luis, you have it. So great. So good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. So uh, our proposal is the development and operation of our river waste collector automation and prototype design. And everybody knows about the implications of the waste in the water. And this problem are present in many Brazilian cities, uh, bring environmental, economic, and social problems. Um, our project focuses on on six SDGs and the SDG six, uh, 12, three and four, uh, which is clean water and sanitation, and and the the other two just pick up here. And yes, um clean water sanitation, we've talked uh, about the responsibility, consumption and production, good health and well-being and life below water, respectively. And our current works focus on um, building a collector to operate at calm rivers and lakes remotely controlled, like the in the photo. Um, this collector is worked by a conveyor belt who take the, the superficial waste of the water and is operated remotely by a, a person. And and our proposal is to enhance this machine, making the operation autonomous and with more functionality and prototype this idea to make this machine a real thing. And in our discussion yesterday, we built uh, several ideas and sites to improve this proposal and think how different students can contribute to this project. So, Luis. Okay, I'm going to open the our document with a minute. Okay. Okay. So, hello everyone. I will say some points that we did yesterday. And from yesterday, we made some excitement and discussed some ideas to improve our river waste collector. So first, we made some main points. For example, let me see here. How the collector identifies specific locations autonomously. How can we know the best shape and volume for, for the container? If a belt is the best way to collect the waste from the water, and for another example, is how can we prevent the boat from stopping or stuck in something? And also in this project, we we point some students that can help us develop them. For example, computer science engineering, mechanical engineering, and design students. Here, okay. Another point is the risk that the project has. For example, we can have some financial problems, some climate conditions that can make difficult the project. And finally, we decide here some key insights. For example, build our collector like the Roomba idea. I don't know if everyone knows what is Roomba. It's like a robot that clean houses. 
Another point too is build the boat, our boat, with the recyclable material. And I think I can say another point that is not in our document is use sensors to collect data about the water quality and waste. I think it's okay. Daniel, it's okay. I think some. Yes. Yeah, it was a, a great talk and uh, yesterday we discussed a lot of things, of uh, ideas and insights. It was very great and this this project seems to be a very nice project for for doing. And this any questions? I have a, a question. Uh, I saw that your system is really similar to a system from uh, an organization called the Ocean Cleanup, that is a, a Dutch organization. And I was wondering if you saw the solution that is called the Interceptor. I will put the link in the chat so everybody can have a look. Um, and I just wanted to understand, like, how did you choose your design parameters? Like, I don't know, the size of the containers, or how do you concentrate the plastic? Um, because, for example, for these all the solution, they more or less create a barrier in the top of the river, so they can like funnel everything. They can put everything to go to the conveyor belt, and then they they are able to fill these containers. Yeah, and your solution maybe you you did this, but from the image that I saw, I I cannot understand uh, exactly how more waste will go there besides the waste that will be directly in the line of the conveyor belt. So, yeah, it's more in this sense. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the boat has a, a motor who makes his move by around the lake and other things. And uh, our boat is, is made thinking about to be built with low low cost materials and low cost production uh, to to be prototyping and there is a motor and an engine uh, that move um, um, on Alice uh, who moved the the boat to to collect the the waste the conveyor belt is just to to bring the the superficial waste and a little more uh, not so superficial ways through the through the reservoir. I, I don't know if I, I answered correctly your. Ah, okay. So you your boat will be like moving. It will not be a. Yes, yes, way. yes, yes. Ah, all it right. will be moving. This is made for for small lakes, for calm rivers that the the boat will, will move into the 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 waste. Oh, okay, perfect. And how this boat would be powered? Would it be like a, a normal gasoline engine, or it would be electric? No, no. If how? with better batteries, there's okay. two engine, one for the two electric engines, one for for the conveyor belt, and one for the the movement of the boat. Okay. Okay. No, interesting. Then I saw the difference between these and the other project. Okay, nice. Really good project. So, uh, any more questions uh, or comments on the project? Just a comment. Uh, from the other... Oh, Professor Romero, go ahead. Yes, uh, next, uh, last semester we had the Dutch involved. Uh, in this semester we, we have some perspective of involvement of some international guys or only the Brazilians? Uh, yeah, we should, we, we have the perspective of uh, having the involvement uh, of uh, the international guys, especially uh, the guys from the Netherlands. Of course, we still are, have nothing uh, confirmed uh, because, because of their semester and all the requirements that need to be uh, understood uh, like only by then. So that's it. Uh, Daniel, Victor, do you have anything else to add about the technical aspect of? I think it's possible for for collabor collaborating with them, right? Yes, yes, for sure. 
wonderful, wonderful show, Professor Mello. That is any more, any more points from the and other review? Well, you see, we had the Sandra, Sandra, and uh, now I have Elizabeth from from Norway. Is that any uh, perspective for involvement of uh, Norwegian uh, students in this project? Uh, I can't give any answers on that because I'm I'm finished at the University of Stavanger, so I'm more or less here to just give some insights from what I learned from from a semester, a little last semester. Uh, but I mean, I maybe talk to Jan Frick, the professor at the University of Stavanger. Maybe he can give some more answers to that. Okay, can you just uh, help us in, in in having this contact? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. Really, really nice, really nice, Andre. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Uh, yeah, uh, because uh, I think as I was uh, talking yesterday, uh, especially also with Elizabeth, uh, we have a, a lot of things actually uh, to share and also to learn with Norway, which is a much more advanced uh, country, uh, especially in the, on this subject. So. Yes, I see that uh, in the chat. Elizabeth Steen is is informing that it, it it is interested in including this in his in her thesis. Oh, oh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. So, yeah, we definitely sh uh, should talk about it, uh, like in a in a specific moment about it because that's the, I think that's a high potential uh, uh, step for for the whole partnership really good Elizabeth really nice really nice uh, and if you want to share anything right now it's of course uh, uh, really wonderful wonderful so uh, but 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 I think but I think like uh, with that established that comment of Professor Romel was uh, a key because we need partnership because we cannot uh, as Jens was mentioning in the beginning of this event we cannot reinvent the wheel we have to reuse uh, our previous results and also reuse the existing results from anywhere so that's how we can uh, actually make real progress so uh yep any other comments on this subject or questions or suggestions anything <laughs>